Make this homemade toy using cardboard and plastic. To begin, we take a piece of cardboard and roll it up. We apply glue all over the edge and fix it to make a kind of paper cone. Now we put together a small cardboard cone and two plastic bottle caps. We apply glue to the cardboard and the bottom of both plastic caps. After gluing, we take the rolled up cardboard and apply a little more glue to the bottom of the cylinder to later cover with a plastic cover. Next, we dispense a little plastic tape and wrap it around the cover so that it is fixed. We take the cardboard cylinder, and now with a punching object, we will make a hole in this part. The next thing will be to apply a little glue to this part of the cardboard cylinder that has the plastic covers glued, and we glue the cardboard cylinder more or less at this distance and angle. Next, we take a box with matches and one by one, slowly, we are going to remove the red phosphor that makes them light. We will put a sheet of paper next to it so that nothing is wasted. Tell me below from which country or city you see us, so that I can send you a special greeting in our next videos. Today's greeting is for Richard, who sees us from Miami. Thank you for watching and sharing each tip. We fold the sheet with the phosphor and very carefully we will throw it into the cardboard cylinder. Then we will press it with a wooden stick to bring it down to the bottom. Now we take a little cotton and we will enter it through the same cylinder, helping us with the stick again. As a final element, we will use an aluminum sheet of paper and we will make some small balls. Then we add them inside the cardboard cylinder. Finally, we break a pin and place it in the hole in the cylinder, since we will use it as a wick. This is a science experiment that is used to entertain and pass the time. The children will love this. Now we just turn on using a lighter and you will notice that it will work like a cannon.